Alright, let's make a deal. If I tell you guys why Haikyuu is so freaking good, then you guys will have to join my Discord server. It's such a great and wholesome community and you guys are certain to have a great time. So go to the link in the description or in the comments and I'll in turn tell you about this legendary anime. In my opinion, that's a fair deal. Anyways, Haikyuu is the fucking shit. This is easily one of the most engaging anime I have ever watched. For the past couple of weeks, my my eyes have been glued to the screen. I had a fantastic time watching Haikyuu, and so will you. Now you may be thinking to yourself that you don't really care about volleyball or sports in general, and first of all, well you're a loser. But second of all, don't you even worry about that. This show will make you care, and that's just a fact. This show wonderfully captures everything that makes watching sport amazing, because sport is about as personal and emotional as it gets. Even if you aren't playing playing yourself. I honestly feel bad for anyone who doesn't religiously follow a sports team because you guys don't feel that level of overwhelming suspense when your team plays in an important match. Or you won't feel the joy or sadness or annoyance or complete fireworks that we feel afterwards. Watching sports brings out the best in us and also the worst in us, but if our eyes aren't glued to that screen then I'll be damned. IQ captures these emotions perfectly. Because even though this Karasuno team is fictional, I'm 100% invested in it. I'll even go as far as to say that due to how invested we are in this team and these characters, the top tier games in this show easily beat out any fight scene in Dragon Ball. And I love Dragon Ball to death, but that's just how good this show is. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me tell you quickly what Haikyuu is all about and why it's so good. So Haikyuu is about a boy named Shoyo Hinata, who's a short king which gives him a natural disadvantage in volleyball. Cause just like with romance, if you aren't at least 8 foot tall, then you have no chance and you should just give up. However, this boy doesn't let his height define him and so he joins a basketball team. NANI?! He meets a lot of unique and interesting people and they play volleyball together. Big surprise. But yeah, that's the basic gist of it. That's the plot. It's literally just them playing volleyball, but it's also so much more than that. The true greatness of this show is in its simplicity. It's all about the small moments within and between the volleyball games. Every character we meet is so well written with different strengths, weaknesses, personalities, and development. The players and staff of the Karasno volleyball team are all super likable and honestly, I haven't been emotionally invested in this many characters in one series since like Game of Thrones. But don't worry, there's not nearly as much betrayal and deceit in Haikyuu. It's a lot more wholesome. I just love how every character gets their moment to shine, even if they're a minor character. And these moments are always really satisfying and intense. Some characters naturally feel less important than others, but no one feels like they don't belong and I love that shit. However, even the characters from the other teams and schools are written with so much depth and nuance. Characters are introduced constantly in the show and somehow all of them are likable. These so-called villains of the show are either insanely engaging obstacles to overcome, fearsome but at the same time wholesome rivals, or just good friends that you play volleyball with. It's so easy to see that just as much attention has been placed on the antagonists as the main characters. Even though during the games you'll for sure be rooting for the Karasuno team, you'll still feel bad for the other characters because you literally see see for yourself just how much they want it too. Most characters have brilliant backstories and their own unique motivations for playing volleyball and wanting to win. And the true intensity in this show comes from these rivalries. Most importantly of course we have Hinata and Kageyama. These two are in my opinion up there with Naruto and Sasuke, just without the murder and downright betrayal. Maybe Goku and Vegeta is a better comparison. I just love their dynamic and how they're constantly pushing each other to be better and better. I also love how we can see that they both really like hanging out with each other, but they'd never in a million years point that out because of their extreme sense of pride. Boys gotta be boys. However, this show also has other rivalries that are just so enjoyable to watch, like Kageyama and Oikawa, Hinata and Ushiwaka, and a bunch more that you'll see for yourselves. The characters in this show make it 100% worth it in my opinion, and it will make you care about everything that goes on, whether you like volleyball or sports in general or not. 
not. The characters make this show what it is. However, that's not to say that the action isn't freaking awesome, because it is. This show makes volleyball seem like the most epic and exhilarating sport of all time. The games in this show are more epic than a lot of fights in popular shonen anime. Heck, these aren't even games anymore, they're just flat out fight scenes, and I love it. For one, the animation in this show is incredible. It may not grab your attention like Demon Slayer would with the vibrant colors, but the way this show is directed, animated, and edited makes it insanely entertaining. It feels so realistic, but at the same time over the top enough so that these epic moments in the matches are just elevated to such fabulous heights. There are also just so many twists and turns in the matches and they're honestly written really well. There are many times that this show will catch you off guard and the moments that you do see coming still resonate with you emotionally. My only concern with the future of this show is how long it's going to run for and how long they can keep making the games feel fresh. I mean, I have faith that they can accomplish this, but it's still probably their greatest obstacle to overcome. However, as of right now, you have absolutely no reason not to be watching Haikyuu. Okay, maybe if you don't like anime with a burning passion, or you're more of a psychologically complex anime watcher, then yeah, this show is not for you. However, if you've watched any popular shonen anime before, like Naruto or My Hero Academia or Hunter x Hunter, then you will absolutely love this show. And I I'd even recommend it to you if you just generally like action or sports or just well written light-hearted stories. This show has something for basically everyone, and if you don't watch it then you'll surely be missing out on a great series and some fantastic storytelling. So yeah, watch Haikyuu, and tell me what you think of it down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video then be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Join my discord, it's great fun. I hope you all have a wonderful day, stay safe and peace out.